What is going on everybody? We're back with another 1000 Hobbies. You can see I'm all geared up. We are heading out to the hike. Got Zach driving, dad's in the back, and uh, we are heading out there. It should be about an hour-ish, hour and a half maybe drive, and then I think we've got a five mile hike on top of that. We've got all our packs. We're staying the night at a reservoir up here in Nevada, and then we'll be doing some fishing, some camping, some cooking, and some hanging out. So. Looking forward to it, just one night. Uh, it's about 6.45 in the morning, and we should be getting there, like I said, about an hour, hour and a half. We've never done this one, um, so we don't really know like what to expect in terms of like how far the drive is up there and how far the hike is. We just have a rough estimate. Sorry for the sun glare, but bring in the phone and the GoPros. Don't have room for all the other stuff. We'll show you how big the pack is, but let's get this show on the road. has officially began. We did find out it is a five mile hike in and our packs are heavy full of fishing gear and food. We probably overpacked, but this looks cool. Yeah. All right, we are still hiking. We're probably about a mile, maybe a mile and a half in of the five miles. They said it was steep and they are right. It is like, it's hard to see on camera probably, but uh, definitely working up a good sweat. But that'll make the prize at the end even better. Pretty cool, it's getting real pretty. All right, I think we have about Two, a little over two miles left. We had our little breakfast burritos with that view, which was pretty off, pretty awesome. We got a nice little flat run for a minute. So check out this view. Not a bad view to hike and enjoy a beautiful day. We made it, guys. We're about to walk down. This is gonna be epic. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so we just made it to our camp spot. We got like four campgrounds, which are pretty cool. And if you can tell, the water is right through the trees, right in there. So, this is gonna be epic. Let's get the waders on, let's go fish. Okay, I see a brook trout right here. This is insane, you guys. I just, just spooked some right in here, but they are heading everywhere out here. This is wild. Oh my gosh, you hear them hitting top water everywhere. Thank you. 
Fish on. Fish on, guys. Fish on. First one. First one. Oh my god, this is sick. Tiger trout. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is my first ever tiger trout. It's not huge, but that is sick. Guys, oh my god. That was so sick. I'm just trying to be quiet because they're still everywhere. Oh my gosh. So sick. <laughs> trying to be quiet. That was sick. All right, guys, well, it's been a really slow, like, hour or two, and everyone here is using dry flies. So I switched. I'm still using my sinking line because I really screwed up, but uh, I was just reeling this dry fly in, and I got lucky with my first little brick trout. They're so stinking pretty. Slippery little guys. Right, look at that. So stinking pretty. Oh my goodness, so pretty. All right, see ya buddy. Well, I thought I was snagged. That was cool. Got him, got him. I saw him over there. Yeah. A little better guy. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. That was cool. Jesus. Look at him go crazy. That was awesome. Dude. Epic. Still recording, so that's cool. Look at that guy. Gosh, they're so pretty. That guy was feisty. I think this technique might work then. It's a dry fly that's staying closer to the top. I think I be able to set yours up like that, Dad. Basically, like tie a fly on like this, yeah. let a lot of line out, and basically just that's what I'm doing. I have a ton of line because this sinks, and then I'm just oh, throwing it out. I saw him busting way over there, just like that, and then I just kind of started reeling it in. No, it's, oh. It's supposed to be, but because it's wet, it's not staying up. And because my line is sinking line. Yeah. Which, that's why I was saying if I had floating line, yeah. it would be a lot better because everything would stay on top of the water. All right, guys, we just had the lunch. Heated up some meals. I had some breakfast. Zach had what, chicken teriyaki? Yes, sir. Dad had some pad thai. So we're starting to figure it out. The dry fly is definitely better for, as of right now. I don't know if that'll change during the timing, but Zach is killing it with his kind of dry fly slash nymph and we've started to figure that out. So I'm gonna try and help dad. He's finishing up lunch, so we're gonna check it out and see if we could get a few more. No, just a rainbow. All right. Came over to deeper water. The deeper water. Not bad. 
Not bad. Oh, sweet. All right, guys. Okay, just to catch you guys up a little bit. Hold on, my pack is all messed up. So, to explain to you guys, we have been fishing way over there, and <clears throat> the only way we could get anything to bite, I did catch my very first one stripping in, like what I'm doing now, but you would see them like up here splashing. You can still see them along the bank. So we decided to come over here, thought maybe the deeper water would kind of help because the brookies are like coming up and eating this stuff and they're super small. So we came over here, a couple casts in, was able to scoop in that rainbow. So let's hopefully get some more. Gives me a little bit of hope. I was telling you about the dry fly stuff earlier and <clears throat> the rod I have is only sinking line. So fl dry fly stuff is pretty much impossible to catch on with sinking line. So I thought about bringing my other one and I just kind of totally forgot and kind of screwed myself actually because they're hitting everywhere on top water. Yeah, and I finally, he's been just sitting on this bank and I was pitching at him, pitching at him, wouldn't do anything. And then this last one, I saw him come up. So I just like let my fly sit on top of the water and it started sinking and he swam over to it and it looked like he kind of hit it. And I was like, I don't see my gold bead anymore. So I pulled up and he was right there. Yeah second tiger of the day. Get your mouth off of that, buddy. There we go. Uh, I kind of have that pattern, I guess. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's okay. Probably should have, but that's all right. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see him. There he goes. Back down. He's coming towards you. Yeah, that was... That was wild. Maybe it was him. Alright, of course. Like I said, it's too breezy, but I just spooked one off. So I guess I'll just throw this one out here and... Ooh, Zach's got one. In the cove? Who? I was like, I literally just spooked one. But I couldn't see him over here. Decent one? Gone? Bummer, dude. All right, so we got dad working on some fish. I see one that's near my fly. Kind of spooked him. Hey Tim, when you approach like a spot, I probably wouldn't walk all the way up to it. I'd try to cast. I got one following. Hold on, Dad. Hold on. I got to follow here, right here. Got him, got him, that was sick. That was so freaking cool. Oh, he got off. As I tried to net him. Dang it. Yeah, as I got him in the net, he was like halfway in and. Yeah. Halfway in, and he popped off and swam out. No, they're not. I've only seen a few out there. With the wind, so we are now over in a much deeper spot, hoping that this will work.
Alrighty guys, so we are back from fishing, caught one more little brook trout, was really trying to find some of those shallow ones, but they were kind of out farther. Uh, it was pretty frustrating. There's some people, the rules here are one uh, lure or hook, barbless, artificial. And people are using like bait, stuff like this, catching it, uh, catching like a lot. And it was just, it was annoying. It was frustrating, but we had a good time trying to get my dad on a fish. That's the goal for tomorrow. We just set up our tents. Probably gonna have some dinner soon. We got dad's tent here. I'm a little camouflage. Back there in the green, and we got Zach over there. Alrighty guys, we're in bed. Inside the tent. Sorry for the bad lighting, but anyway, we had a good dinner. Played some card games, hung out for a little bit, and it's uh, a little after 9, 9.30 or something like that. So it's bedtime, get up, get some coffee, go fish. See you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, we are just about to start some fishing, just had some coffee, they're surfacing kind of all over so we're going to try and get dad on some fish. First one in the morning. Come here, buddy. Yes. All right. Nice little dry fly action. jumping all over the place you guys and with the sinking line it's really hard to work but we got them Yes, that was sick. Yes. Oh, he came off. That was a good one too. Got him. Little, little guy. Oh, little, little. That was so cool. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 
Little, little brookie. So cool. So we did our breakfast, we did a little morning fishing, which was fun. The bite turned off pretty quick, so we ended up coming back, making some breakfast, and uh, just kind of hanging out for a minute. Now we're back out here, still a little breezy, but we're going to a deeper part to see if we can catch some more fish. Uh, didn't talk a lot last night on the video because we had a group of like 11 people of a family or something next to us. It was super loud, which was kind of annoying, but they did go to bed early, so that was nice but it is time to go fishing again. Got him, Dad. Come here. Got him. Come here. It's pretty easy. Just keep your finger on that. Not too hard to keep the slack up, up, tied up. Tied up. Keep it tight, keep that line tight. Keep it tight. Let him swim with it, yeah. If he needs to go, let him go, but keep that line tight. Okay, working back this way. Same yeah, working back this way. Walk back if you need to. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, got him. There we go. Got that on a fish, baby. Looks like a little rainbow. Can't, I don't see, he's skinny. All right, here you can set that, just set that down right over there. Just like that. Gonna keep him in the water for now don't tip too far and then just wet your hands it'll be easier whichever hand you're gonna pick it up with got him there he goes thanks, dude thanks man yeah Good work. Here. Got him. Yes, that was sick. You wanna do it again? Go come on, ahead. come on over. Go ahead. Ah, that was cool. Nice little brookie. Oh yeah. Another big one just came after this guy right there. Gosh, these brook trout are so pretty. That was so cool. He came smoking out of the uh, rocky area. They're so pretty, dude. And there he goes. Alrighty, guys. Well, the fishing for the morning is over and the camp trip is done. We just have the quick five mile hike back, mostly downhill because it was really steep. On the way up so it was awesome it was a cool camp spot i was here zach was over there dad was back there beautiful lake right there so five mile hike back let's do it what'd you guys think it was good pretty was sweet fun. pretty yeah. fun sweet camping sweet camping all right let's do it